Hey, hello, colors out there. This is Nathan coming at you with another tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be talking about adding depth and looking at the planes of an of an image uh, to add that depth of field. We're going to be talking about hue, saturation, and value. Uh, the image that we're going to be looking at today this is by uh, Zach Howard, and I believe it's the cover for Marvel Adventure Spider-Man number forty-five. I didn't color the piece. I wish I did. Uh, Zach's an amazing artist. I uh, should check him out on DeviantArt. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to his uh, to his page. Um, he did an, a great job inking himself on this piece. You get a new layer and a color you guys can see, but doing it with the the thicker lines, you could you know you cut started indicating you know the depths, uh, all the different planes I should say uh, for the for the uh, for the colors to go in and add more. You know, so it's going around him. A little bit on the web right here as well, and the foreground elements. Uh, let me get rid of that. We're back here. So we've got some some basic flats going. Uh, first of all, we're going to talk about um, is hue. Uh, well, before I get too far ahead of myself, uh, let me get my foreground elements. I get them on a separate separate layer, and make things a lot faster. Uh, check everything out in quick mask. Oops, we got these guys. Only want some certain tentacles here. Let me see. Just editing my selection in Quick Mask real quick. And this guy. Oops. Should be that color. Um. Well, yeah, we'll get rid of these. Let me see if we can do this. And I think that looks good. Yeah, all right, we'll just put those on a separate layer. So those are our foreground elements right here. And then uh, the rest will be our background. Okay, first of all, we're gonna talk about hue. Hue, um, as you probably know, warm colors, reds, oranges, yellows, I'll make, uh, Make an image come forward in a piece, and your cool colors, blues, purples, uh, greens to a certain extent, they'll go more towards the background. So it's a really quick and easy way to do it. Um, let's add some, add some yellows to this foreground elements just to kind of illustrate it. We'll add some blues, maybe a little bit of purple. So you can see just, just in that alone, uh, Spider-Man's in, the, in those tentacles, the foregrounds really start to pop forward. Um, of course, it's, in that instance, it's a bit much. Um, you know, let me mess around with this a little bit. It's kind of bugging me. It's too bright. All right. Um, next one, we're going to be talking about saturation. Uh, so we'll take, like, our background. If we desaturate it, that's really going to push it back. And we we saturate our foreground, that's really going to bring it forward. Of course, you know, just pushing these two to the extremes, you can really tell the difference. I'll show you afterwards how to, how to bring it all together. Um, again, another one, value. Uh, if we have like the background a lot darker, I don't want it too dark. You still need to be able to see it and have it print nice. Then we have like the foreground elements lighter. Again, it's really pushing. The foreground elements are really coming forward. The background elements are really getting pushed back. A lot of depth going on. You, so you can see the different planes. Um, Okay, so we got those three. Let's see what we can do um, to bring them all together. Um, so we'll start off, we'll have, let's see, on yeah, the background a little bit darker. Intr start introducing some of those cooler colors. A little bit of purple as well, why not? Uh, foreground colors, uh, let me see, we'll bring up some saturation. Get some reds, some yellows going in the piece, and right there it's really popping off. A uh, quick trick, the quick trick that I use a lot of times, I'll go down to my uh, adjustment layers. On top of everything, I just put a hue saturation layer on top, and then just take your saturation all the way down, and that'll help you a lot as far as like showing like the the value and everything like that. So here, 
I can see we can even go a little bit darker on the background. And on the foreground, we could take it a little bit, a little bit lighter. I'm just going to do that through, through levels. Again, just kind of playing around, uh, messing with the colors and stuff like that. Um, you see, yeah, it kind of works. Um, I think the blue the spidey suit is getting a little too bright. We'll darken. Eh. We'll change that color. <laughs> That'll make things easier. Uh, We'll muddy it up a little bit so it gets lost in that background. There we go. Get some purple, a little bit more yellow, a little bit more red. Yeah. So we'll look at that again. There are values, or the hue sat. Yeah, values look pretty good. A lot of contrast going on. So you're going to use that as your starting point. I'm not really going too much. I'm not, well, actually, I'm not going in at all about the rendering. Um, you can render a piece till the cows come home. But uh, if the colors aren't right, then it's not going to matter. So you can have, say, like, color, like simple rendering colors. I don't know if you remember, like, the Batman animated series, the comic books from DC. Uh, really simple selections. Uh, the rendering was very simple. But if you nail the colors, look at uh, Dave Stewart. Uh, his color palettes are always dead on. He doesn't have to go in and render a whole lot. Um, so, again, you don't, you don't have to over-render anything just as long as your colors are right then the piece is going to look good. Um, let's see. I think this is about it. Uh, so we got this this piece here. Let's say, just to make things interesting, um, we want to do the opposite and say, instead of the focus being on Spider-Man, for some reason or other, we want to put the focus on Doc Ock. So we would just do the exact opposite. Let's go ahead and darken up Spider-Man. Let's just uh, desaturate him. We'll add uh, some blues, a little bit of green to make it interesting. And then in the background, we'll go ahead and really lighten that up a lot. Well, let's add like some reds and some yellows to make it interesting. That looks good. Uh, I think if we darken up the smoke a little bit more, it'll add like another another plane all the way in the back. It'll help especially up here on the top where that logo is going to go. It's going to help that pop out a lot more. So I'll desaturate that. Add a little bit of cool to push it back so we have a, a immediate foreground, a middle ground, and then the smoke will be a background element. So right, right there, just a couple easy steps, just again messing with the hue, the saturation, and the values. And we can go like that and just uh, put our layer back on. You see that really works. We got like all the interest right here is on Doc Ock now. Um, yeah, so with those three at depth, uh, you establish the planes and add a lot of a lot more interest to your piece, pushing it to that next level. Uh, that's it for me. If you have any uh, any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll check them often. Um, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, uh, check me out on DeviantArt, lummage.deviantart.com, and that's it for me.